Hi everybody, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 29 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. We got a lot in store today. What we're doing first is chilling in this cartography trading hall. I was trying to get all these guys up to a master level. Right now we have a lot of experts here, but if we can just keep on trading all this glass, then we can work our way up to masters. We do have a couple of these guys that are masters now, though, and uh, that means that we can get Woodland Explorer maps to go find that Woodland Mansion, and Ocean Explorer maps to go find more ocean monuments, even though we've already found a couple of those. Did want to thank you guys for watching the last episode. This was an extremely fun build to make, and I did work on the upstairs a little bit, just working on the decoration a little bit. We're going to have more maps right here, right here on the upstairs as well. But yeah, I am loving this building. It was it was supposed to just be a map room, and then it ended up being a little bit too big, and now it's a cartographer trading hall. This thing is enormous. I'm actually going to go over here and maybe get an extra gunpowder real quick from this guy. What's up, my dude? How's it going? I also have a brand new mouse. I got like a Razer mouse. I've never had a new mouse before. I got a mouse that came with my keyboard when I first got my PC. So it was a pretty cheap mouse, and now I finally actually have a decent one. Getting a little bit used to it. I am loving it, though, because this new house, along with this new long play house that we did a couple episodes ago, this is now approaching this big water area that's pulling right up to Rainbow Mountain, and man, I am excited about finally having some buildings over here. I do know that we're going to get some mapping done today, and that has got me thinking I really got to get Rainbow Mountain done sooner than later. I'm going to keep working on this on stream as much as I can, because when I do this map, it's going to show sand in the middle instead of a complete Rainbow Mountain, which is... Uh, not what we want, but uh, at least we know that when Rainbow Mountain's finished, it'll look super cool on the map. Before we do any sort of mapping, though, I do want to show you what we did on the long plays in between this episode and episode 28. So let's fly right past the building. Coming down in the ocean, they're actually right next to each other, which is great. But this first one was this cozy cliff system that we had made. This thing was super fun to build. I loved how we could just be, we just went freestyle with this. It was, we could just be free and uh, just kind of block spam as much as we wanted to until it started to come together. But I love like the cattails, we got the amethyst, got the dripstone, we got some mangrove. And up top, if we fly around, I just kind of put some azaleas, got some mushrooms here. Tried to make this thing look as cozy as possible. Running this way along the cliff side though, I want to get down here and show you guys, bam, we have a brand new beacon tower actually you know what i'll get over here too let's get a nice height on it and now i can show you from right here boom brand new beacon tower this thing is uh this thing is weird i'd never really built a beacon tower it's basically all it does is just hold a beacon also serves a kind of a watchtower purpose as well i don't have that many tall buildings over here i guess other than this crane but uh, now that we have a second tall building over here, it's all starting to come together. I'm going to start adding some trees over here as well. We don't have too much foliage. Once the foliage is in this area, it'll be nice and quaint. The cows will start making their way over here. It'll be great. I'm thinking I kind of want to duplicate this design here for the beacon tower because we could have multiple beacon towers around town. And there are a lot of designs for beacon towers on the internet that you guys can find. You could also just look up like a design for a watchtower and just put a beacon in the center of it. That's kind of what I did. But I do love how you can just see that beam through the building itself and then just popping all the way up into the infinite sky. Time to do a little bit of the villager snatching. Sorry, buddy, you're coming with me real quick. We gotta, gotta take you to the other side. After a 10 hour journey, we're finally at the back of the town and we can go through the mangrove trees right here, finally. All right, let's pass this LA beach house and let's go meet up with all the other villagers real quick. I've been bringing them all the way around town, kind of like in the last episode, just dropping them off here. And this guy actually is still a fisherman for some reason. Dude, get get over here, just, just get in this boat. Thank you very much. Finally, back in a pile of villagers over here, I just wanted to, uh, you know, just see what would happen if I brought a bunch of these guys back over to this area. I think what I'll do is I'll just start ripping this up one by one. You get out, you get out. Everybody can just kind of take part in society on this side of the town now. This guy is 100% running the wrong direction, but these guys over here, they seem to be going the right way. Actually, we forgot one boat. There we go. And all right. Everybody take your jobs. Do what you got to do. Most of them actually just seem to be going into this starter house that we built. There's no beds in here, though. So, I mean, on this first floor, at least. So they might have to come around the backside. Take some of these beds back here, and if they come back around this area, they might be able to, uh, you know, sleep in a spot where we just decorated. Behind the new build, we actually have a bunch of trees. We have acacia, oak, birch. We have campfires. We have numerous lighting sources, as well as a well. We put a well right here. I actually put another one right here on this side of the building as well. On the front side of the building, I went ahead and put a nice little flower shop right here because uh, I just wanted to. We don't really have one on this side of the ravine yet, so I figured we might as well start doing that. 
I'm actually just now realizing that I didn't even put a top cobblestone wall there, so uh, I'm gonna have to go back real quick and get that fixed. Every time I take villagers away, new villagers pop up immediately out of this villager breeder. This thing is just, this it's always working. Let's go ahead and fly back though as quickly as possible. We got a couple things to do. I actually have some bees nests that I wanted to put over here as well to make it seem more natural of a landscape. Let's go ahead and just land right here. Put that nice. That's a, I don't know how I forgot that, but we did. Of course, it's raining as soon as I'm trying to put the bees out. Let's go ahead and just put some bee right there. Let's go ahead and run down this way. I'd like it if some bees were chilling right here as well. So let's do this. We're going to put one campfire in. We're going to go right there. Another campfire right here. Never hurt nobody. We're going to cover it up with the trap door. We got to go back to the original one. Cover that up with the trap door. Hey, these guys are congregating at the bell. Let's go. All right, we have officially started a brand new part of the village over here. And now for what we've all been waiting for. Let's run back in the cartography center. Let's grab some of the empty maps. I don't know. You know what? Let's just bring this here. Let's just activate this map. And what are we looking at? Oh, this is the first time checking one of these out. Let's actually just get rid of the totem for a second and look down. Super dangerous. I never don't have the totem on me, but it's going to be worth it looking at this map here. So right now, ah, oh, it's super close up. You can see we have the pufferfish sanctuary on like the left side. Turtle sanctuary. We are in the middle of the cartography center right now. This is awesome. Go to a cartography table real quick. Let's throw the map in in there and let's go ahead and see this is going to be at actually let's just do one at a time here we have an we have a little bit of a smaller map here and by smaller i actually mean larger this is crazy we can actually if you look in the top left of what we've seen so far there is the sheep shearing wool farm and we can see the rainbow there mapping this one out here we pretty much just have to hang out over the ocean and get this nice pathway we have to get our way to get into the nether our mob farm looks like the big square right there, and it looks like we got everything all the way up to the fishing dock, and the panda sanctuary is where we're going to chill now. Now that we know exactly where the edge of that map is, let's just kind of head over here a little bit, and we'll actually just open up another map. Let's see what this one looks like. And boom. Wow. Look at that hole. Oh my god. We got it. There is uh, a golem getting fried right now. Can we get some... Can we get not gonna let me see i can't get in the window of course ah there we go sorry buddy just making sure it's working but dude that oh my hold up i gotta get a closer look at this that lava lake right there that's crazy super interesting seeing like the sugarcane farm as well as the buildings around it with the mangrove roofs and the spruce roofs this is kind of cool up on the b sphere real quick let's get this map out here wait we got id 56 let's see nice this is insane so uh, wait let's uh let's put the totem back in first let's put this back on the wall at the cartography center and i kind of want to see what this starts to look like run in here real quick we have a four by four this one would actually be pretty cool let's put you right there let's grab this we got you right below it Oh, I'm forgetting. I actually made this map bigger. So let's put this guy right here. We'll take this guy put that right there. Okay. So this is starting to look like a crazy map. This is nuts. It would actually be crazier if I uh, made it made sense. Let's just, yep, that's, that's a little bit more like it. Let's go fly real quick. I kind of want to just open a map up over this way. Not even going to look at it. Let's fly over this way also and start to open up maps on the complete opposite side of town. We'll actually just get one here. Let's fly over probably just a little bit further. We'll go right here. And actually, you know what? Let's take another rocket over this giant moss field, and we'll just open up one right here. Let's start putting this puzzle together. So I'm pretty sure... I mean, this guy's going to be actually down on the ground. That's, that's far away. Let's get this guy over here as well. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of work to do. Wow. Okay, so far, this is just... This is looking absolutely gorgeous. We have build out the entire map that wow this is i'm just in awe let's buy some maps from these guys real quick and get a couple more of these out one more time to try to complete this let's actually get this pathway down here we'll light this up and map that out we're good there i think we need to go over this island one more time with the small one let's actually map this right here we'll go bam all right that's lit up Let's go right up here, right below the frog sanctuary over the ocean boardwalk. I think we light that up and we're good. And last but not least, we're going to fly over to the brand new beacon tower back here, right next to the crane as well. Let's just go bam. All right, we got a brand new map right here. Okay, perfect. Let's get this corner filled out. Perfect. Let's fly all the way back and let's put these on the wall, man. I am wondering what, okay, what's going on? How did you do this? How did you get up here, sir? 
I'm gonna I'm gonna move on like nothing's happening, but uh, I'm, not, I'm definitely not gonna forget this. Slap that right there. We'll go over. We'll slap that right there. Well, it looks like I doubled this one up. That was kind of confusing right there for a moment, but uh, we'll finish this one. Actually, nope, that's wrong. We'll finish that. Then we'll finish this one. Okay, wow. So that's basically the entire village minus like the corners up here that we haven't built in yet. But as soon as we get a building right here, this is going to mean something, but we could fill that out. Now that this map is done, I'm actually kind of starting to notice some of the trees around here are taking up some of the lay of the land here. So, that, I mean, all of these green spots everywhere, especially over by the Fox Sanctuary and the Watermelon Farm. There's a big plot of green right there. I think we might need to edit that real quick. Yeah, we got a bunch of jungle trees over here, and we have one that's just... I don't even remember when we started taking this one down, but maybe I was on stream or something and I only did half of it, but yeah. We got we got to take these jungle trees down. Let's, like, let's clear this up a little bit, make this area look a little bit nicer. I actually... I don't even know if I... I, need, I might need to add some stuff to the path down here. I might have just been neglecting this spot behind the fox sanctuary while i'm cleaning this area up i actually probably should have done this sooner and uh, what i mean is getting these fence gates up here because the foxes they can jump pretty high as soon as they see a chicken like they're, they're just gonna get out of here get this last couple guys right there okay perfect so what we did was add some trees got a nice beehive that ended up going over there we have more acacia trees back here got some mushrooms i ended up just making this look like the rest of the path areas where we have some hay bales stacked up do not want anything spawning back here, so uh, let's just uh, go ahead and place some verdant frog lights down as well. I'm actually going to cover these up with the, the flowering azalea bushes. It's nice to have this area look normal. It's nice and breathable again. We're flying through, getting everything updated on this map. If we go over here, this is updated now. Okay, perfect. We got the trees in. Everything seems to be a little bit more clear. Ooh, yeah, I forgot about this. I was actually out doing a little bit of mapping, and I completely forgot. We were over here taking out some of this mesa, getting some of the terracotta. We had a uh, beacon over here and never used... Uh, I mean, I never brought it back with me. Taking this guy down. I, I want to, like, keep adding beacons with, uh, like, details in. I feel like a, uh, like a ancient ruins mixed with a beacon. I feel, I feel like that'd be a pretty cool idea. I think we got everything. Let's go ahead and fly back. I want to show you guys exactly what we got on that map wall. Running over, boom. And we slapped that guy right into place. This is the Rainbow Mountain side of the map. Rainbow Mountain is huge. Even with the blocks going up six tall, we still couldn't fit the entirety of it. And uh, this over here is the desert where the other side of Rainbow Mountain is going to go. This is looking insane, almost as insane as the actual town itself. Look at what we've done. This is, oh my god, the bee sphere, the lava pit, everything. This new garden looks cool. You can see the giant moss field that we have out there. We cleaned up the fox sanctuary, the frog sanctuary, and the boardwalk looks cool down here. This giant tree farm cube looks pretty weird from an aerial view, but I'm liking it. You can see the copper power lines going all the way out to the island, as well as the uh, the way to get into the nether. We have a little portal. You can even see that tunnel, with, like the, the, the pixelated line right here like this takes us all the way down the pathway all the way over to the edge of rainbow mountain on this map too is nuts that's what kind of made me lead to getting rainbow mountain on this side and this map over here bam we have ourselves a brand new larger map this one is uh, brought out by two so we have uh, obviously the cartography center that you can see us right here we have a little bit of rainbow mountain from a little bit further away the pathway going all the way into the town our town is huge but uh, as we get further and further out from the aerial view it's making it look smaller then we walk over to the one that makes it look even smaller. Look at this. And if you thought our village was huge, look at this. We have the pathway going all the way over to the other village. Rainbow Mountain doesn't even take up the majority of this. This is insane. When Once we start to build our city down here a little bit and down here, you can even see the Savannah Village right there and Savannah Village right there. But once we get everything started to build down here, that's going to be nice. It'll be fun taking up all of this space. It would actually be really cool if there was an ocean monument right here because then I could get that on this map. And, you know, I decided to get the smaller map of the southern part of the city where the ocean pathway leads to. We are we have ourselves the uh, horse stable as well as the cocoa bean farm. We also have the trading hall right in the middle. So this thing is nuts. We have four giant, I mean five. We have five giant maps already. This one right here being the craziest. I've been staring at this on stream for a while. Even the spiral staircase into the cave right here looks cool. Now that we got these done, and they're all looking good, but yeah, now that we got these done, let's go ahead and scrap some compasses, some emeralds. Go over to one of these guys. Not an ocean explorer map, but a woodland explorer map. Let's go ahead and take one of these, and yeah. All right, so where are we at? We are very far northwest of the woodland mansion, it looks like. 
think it's time for us to take a flight out there. I'm going to... Oh, yeah, by the way, if you try to map the nether, uh, you get this. Unless maybe if you have something on the nether roof, but this is what you get. This little weird abstract design if you uh, try to map the nether. But let's go ahead and let's uh, let's fly out. Let's let's find this Woodland Mansion. Let's uh, let's tear it down. All right, we are only like a thousand blocks out, and new chunks are loading. These are all brand new chunks. Here we go. I think I might be flying over the smallest mountain ever. Yeah, look at this thing. What? That's okay. That's crazy. It's the tiniest little mountain I've ever seen. Ooh, actually, okay. I, I'm gonna stop here real fast at this pillager outpost. I feel like this is probably a decent place to maybe find a goat horn. I thought I saw a guy just here. Wait. Did he just jump down? Oh, no, he's right here. Get out of here. Oh, my God. There are so many of these guys here right now. This is... Okay, this is crazy. Let's just... Uh, let's not get the captain. Let's just do this. Let's get this. Get out of here. If I can break that log and put it right here, then nobody can... Okay, this is perfect. Nice. Okay, we got a goat horn. Not bad. What does this one do? That is just lovely. Ooh, love me a good old-fashioned shipwreck sticking out of the water. Ooh, this one, like, seems almost all the way intact let's get the treasure let's see what we got going on down here and that seems pretty decent actually you know what we should probably do is set up a little bit of a shulker box let's get this stuff in here real quick i know there's some iron back here yeah give me some of that thank you very much let's hop down and oh perfect okay that's exactly what i wanted to see let's grab that and okay let's just grab the shulker box we're about to drown honestly after many years of playing this game i still love coming across a buried treasure Okay, we really have been flying for a while now. We're at 4,000, 6,000, and yeah, this is, wow, it doesn't even look like we've made a mark on the map yet. We just, we have to keep going. Oh, we've started to move on the map. Okay, so let's just start going straight down south, and we should be there pretty soon. Okay, another outpost. Okay, we have to do it. Let's go in with the sword real fast. I don't think anyone's even here. Let's just do this again block that no one's getting up here i'm pretty sure no one can get up here take another goat horn okay what sound does this one make let's check real quick did did both goat horns just go at the same time that's that's wild i did have to stop though real quick as i was flying over this this is awesome i love when there's a nice lush cave entrance it's oh, it's so beautiful when it's just like nice and natural goes all the way down into a geode you can see it all the way down there Okay, gotta stop here as well. Looks like there's a spider spawner, a cave spider spawner specifically, but I always like stopping here because you never know what's in these golden chests. Got a name, I got a bunch of stuff here. You know what, let's just take it all. I'm thinking taking out this spawner is a good idea. Got another one over here. What do you got for me? Ooh, some diamonds, not bad. Let's get this guy too, nothing's gonna, yeah, okay. Got all of that. I saw some underwater treasure. I'm gonna go over here, grab some of this too. Let's grab the lights if I can't. Thank you very much. And also, this guy's gonna come up on me. No way, dude, get out. This is my treasure, thank you very much. You too, dude, just, just, just get it, just get out. Thank you very much. Also you, just, why don't you just get on out of here, sir, thank you. Okay, we're starting to get larger on the map here. Chunk's still loading. Ooh, we reached land. Are we about to hit? Oh, we did. We're about to hit a dark oak forest, which means let's get high up in the sky. We're about to hit the mansion. We are officially on the map. It's about to load in. Where you at, buddy? Where are you? Looks like we found her. I've been circling just to see if there's anything on the roof because I have a special delivery for this mansion. First things first, what we're doing in here is taking all these down. These library, these are mine. Hearing some grunts, so I should definitely be careful. I feel like there's... Oh, God, yeah, there are... There's a lot of stuff over here. Let's actually just take this guy out. Is there a skelly in here? There might be a skelly actually in here. Oh, he's running at me good. Please stop. Oh, God. Oh, God. Now, those guys deal lots of damage, which is why I ran. Let's see if I can get a... Uh, let's get a sneak attack on this guy right here. Sir, you're gonna have to leave. This is the easiest heist of the century. Another guy decided to come out, but uh, luckily I have my rockets, and you're not gonna- you're not hitting me, dude. I'm- I'm gonna be- yeah, exactly. Well, we, uh, we officially took out all of that library, and I feel like one library is enough. I don't even want that. That axe would have really done some damage to me. Let's, uh, you know, let's take this flint and steel, and just cause just a little bit of damage here and there. Just a little bit over here, maybe a little bit over there, and you know, just a little bit of damage right here and right there. We did this on the last hardcore series, and I, I just loved it. It was so fun watching the whole thing burn, and, uh, you know, just, uh, let's just, let's take, let's take this one down, too. As soon as I see a Vex, I am out of here, though. I really don't want to deal with any of those guys. All these cobwebs in here, you know what? I think we're doing this place a favor. Is that a spider spawner? What? I've never seen a spider spawner in here. You know what they say, when you love something, you have to let it burn. 
Let's fly over here. I think we missed a spot right there. We missed a spot right here. Let's fly up. I should probably eat real quick. And let's take a gander. That's, you know what? This is beautiful. What a sight. Just gonna kick back over here real quick. Perch up on a dark oak tree and watch this baby burn. Actually, I'm trying to get close up on this action here. Okay, yep. So it looks like that lava did some damage to that other side. We still have the spider spawner in there. I, you know what? I guess the... Oh, that guy is definitely going to release some vexes. Hold on a second. Sir, I don't want you here. You know what we can do, though, is there that guy does drop totems. Let's actually, let's go down, let's grab that emerald, and let's grab that totem. I honestly think we're making this place look a lot better. And there's a chest right here. Let's go. What's in here? We found a music disc. Cat, yes! The other library is burning, and uh, that's okay, because we still have, like, almost three stacks. Sorry guys, but your map room is no match for my map room, so it's gotta go. We have some chests chilling out there. We have one down here. I think there's... See, yep, I see one down there too. We got a bunch of these. And this guy, he's gonna try to call a Vex. I'm gonna get him, hopefully, in the head. Can I do it? Oh, he's... I think I booped him. I don't know if I got him. That means a Vex may or may not be coming out. This is the third cat disc that I found. I don't know what it is about... Wooded mansions and the cat disc, but uh, there's a lot of them. An unintended consequence of burning down the mansion was the burning down of the forest in the surrounding area. This is, this is not good. Ooh, and we can get one more totem. Let's go. Sorry I had to do it to your mansion, and uh, yeah, sorry I had to do it to your forest. It really wasn't supposed to end up like this, but uh, you know, it, it just do be that way sometimes. I am going to officially take off back home. I think we've done what we needed to do. Also, my elytra is looking about half done, so we should... Yep, let's uh, let's see how far we can make it. And I immediately run into another outpost. Okay, so I'm going to go in here real quick. And let's just block you off if I can. What do you got for me? Okay, absolutely nothing. Well, you know, it was fun stopping here. Ooh, we are at Rainbow Mountain. Let's go. Actually, that was like a... That was maybe about almost 10 minutes of a flight. That It takes a while to get back here. I'm sure if we go to, a, like, any other cartographer, they'll take us to a woodland mansion that's, like, only 4,000 blocks away or something like that. That one was 19,000 blocks away. That's insane. It is good to be back here in our map room. I'm actually going to put this woodland and explorer map right back here. Um, you know what? Actually, I might actually just save all of the maps here. We might as well. That is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys for showing up, and I appreciate all the support on the Twitch streams recently. Thank you all. Episode 30 is coming out very soon, and yeah, we are approaching 4,000 days. I am so excited. We just hit day 3,978, so we got a couple things to do. I'm also about to record a couple long plays as well. That is going to be it, though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and do something nice for somebody. Bye.